you've been in the industry for 15 years, right? So you've worked with a bunch of different personalities, things like that. Who have you learned the most from, you think? Ooh, um, hmm. I've, I've definitely learned different important lessons from each of the personalities that I've worked with. Yeah. Um, Skip taught me a lot about ignoring uh, trolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's real, probably he's real good at that. Um, um, yeah, I mean, you have to be. And whatever you think of, you know, Skip's takes, he's he's going to give them. And there's going to be feedback, po- positive or negative. And it's important to, no matter what it is that you're doing, to, uh, you know, compartmentalize who you're going to take feedback from. So, you know, he's, he taught me a lot. I learned a lot in radio in Miami. You know, that's where I became a personality doing radio in Miami. So a lot of the guys that I've worked with in Miami have, have helped shape me there. I mean, I would, I would definitely have to say Colin was a huge influence on me. I mean, he is just the way he prepares for the show. A lot of people think Colin like takes himself very seriously (laughs) and he doesn't, he's, He's actually a, like a family guy. He loves like kicking it with his wife and his kids and, you know, going to Utah and chilling. And he's – but when it comes to the show, he takes the show very seriously. Like he wants to give a great product to anybody who gives their time to listen to or watch the show. Like he thinks it's our responsibility to do a good show because people are coming to us to watch the show. Like, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? So it's like a privilege to be able to do that and we should take it seriously. And he does a two hour meeting prep meeting before the three hour show, Sheesh. which a three hour live show is a monster. That's like, a that's, long time. The show I'm on now is an hour and a half long. Yeah. That's twice as long. <laughs> it's, Jesus. it's so long and it's live and it's radio. It's like a long form format. Mm-hmm. You really have to prep a lot if you're going to execute that show with the precision that he does every single day and come up with, you know, stuff to say. I mean, we did four months from our houses during the pandemic with no live sports. Yeah. Three hours a day, Jesus. no live sports. How was that? Yeah, that was crazy. I blacked out. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what we did. We, and it lined up kind of perfectly with the NFL off season. So we just sort of did the show with the mentality that the NFL would happen, which obviously it did. Yeah. Right. Thank God. But so that helped. But aside from that, like he just, his preparation, how much he cares about doing a good show, the way that he looks at a story and finds a way to make it relatable to a lot of people and mm-hmm. consumable. Um, his cadence is very interesting. You know, it's important to when you're prepared, you don't have to worry about what you're going to say next. Mm. You know, it's almost like giving a, like an oral presentation at school yeah. when you're like not prepared. You're like, um, uh, stuttering, you know, <laughs> yeah, because you're, you don't know what to say. Cause you're not prepared. Yeah. So his ability to kind of slow things down as well, like not speed through a point, really articulate what he's saying, try to make it relatable to the most amount of people and tell stories you know, he does a lot of um, comparisons and theories, like real life stuff. Like, yeah. you know, if this was a divorce and da 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 or whatever, <laughs> um, he's in his own Colin way. So I, I definitely learned a lot from working with Colin. Were you, were you being, were you scared like the first time you were on national TV for the first time? Oh yeah. I was very, very nervous. I can only imagine. I'm just like, I used to get nervous. The first time we ever did the podcast, we were nervous. I was like, I can only imagine being on national TV every yeah. day. I was the very first time I did it. I was nervous. Um, and it was actually with Colin. I have the picture. It was my first day on air because I was filling in on the herd. I hadn't been on the show. hadn't launched yet. Undisputed hadn't launched yet. So I was the fill in for the herd. And I just like, I can see it in, I remember feeling that way, but you know how, when you're nervous, like, do I look nervous? Yeah. I look nervous. I look like (laughs) a baby. And like, my eyes were glossy. Like I wasn't gonna cry, but I was like nervous. Oh, like, that's like feeling crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! And I, don't, I hate feeling nervous. That's why I don't. That's why I prepare so much. Like I right. think prep is the difference between good and great talent. Like you can tell when someone is prepared for something, mm-hmm. and it just makes the it makes a world of difference just to know what it is you're talking about. And I also just don't talk about stuff I don't know what I'm talking. About. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know about that. Like what's the point? Am I gonna you know sit here and make right. something up? 
But yeah, I was very, very nervous. You probably don't feel those nerves anymore, right? You're just so used to it. I forget them on TV sometimes, which is not a good thing. <laughs> like sometimes I will, <laughs> I'll start talking, like I'll start talking and get like into the mode, and I'm like, damn, I hope I didn't say nothing crazy just now because I was really just going off and I be talking a lot of shit. So maybe I hope that went well. But at least but, you're being yourself. Like, yeah. you're just normal. You're normal. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't ever like to get outside of myself, though. I think sometimes, especially when you're doing opinion, you can be really passionate about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes I can get you in a little trouble. Yeah, no, riled up. Sure, yeah. Sure. Sure. But I, I've done so many shows now, and, and I'm so used to it that, I, it, yeah, I don't, I don't get nervous anymore. That's mm -hmm. good. So Colin is the person that you learn the most from. Who's the person that you love arguing with the most? Arguing with? Um... Colin's actually kind of fun to argue with because he he doesn't really argue because that's not that's not really his thing. Yeah. But we have some really interesting discussions. I would say that. Um. I mean, me and Emmanuel now will go at it um, yeah. on the show every yeah. once in a while. Um, Shady and I pretty much align on a lot of stuff, so we don't really go back and forth that much. Um. Yeah. I mean, I think I think I, I enjoy a a heated interesting nuanced discussion with just about anybody mm -hmm. i will get kind of excitable though mm -hmm. so sometimes i think i like just back people down because i'm like ah, you're passionate yeah. yeah and they're like oh, okay fine you win <laughs> right right but 